What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to catch dinner from the pier. All you need is live shrimp, small hook, split shots, a swivel. Aaron. Woo. What is that? Oh, nice. That's your Margate. Margate, huh? Black Margate? Oh. Did it taste any good? Okay, cool. That's dinner, right? Yep. Dinner, guys. Yes. Let's take it to a Chinese restaurant. Yes. So, that was pretty easy. I threw a shrimp down with just the hook, a small little hook, and a couple of split shots, and uh, waited for a little bit. Next thing you know, I felt tuk, 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 set the hook, brought him up. That's dinner. It's a quick, easy way to catch a fish. All right, guys, so here's a really quick rundown of how I use live shrimp. The rig that I'm using is just a small little hook tied on with a clinch knot, two split shots, and a swivel so that my, well, so my line won't get tangled. And when I hook this shrimp on, I'm just putting it through right here so it doesn't go through the brain and doesn't kill it because you want this fish you want this to be alive and jumping you see that you want it to be jumping around under there nice. <laughs> you caught the bottom? Pretty big. You don't think you can flip it? It's the biggest thing I hooked. Oh no! Biggest thing you almost caught. Biggest thing I almost caught. That's alright. Could have been a swim, right? Snap my hook. That was a big one. Look at that. Look at all this fray on here. That was a big one. Don't know what it is. But the shrimp, that was just a little shrimp. It's such a mystery. What? My hands are shaking. The adrenaline? Yeah. I need some heavier line. That was a really big fish. And uh, right now I'm changing it out so that it's, it's heavier leader because it, it just snapped me when I got close. That sucks. That sucks. Can't really talk too much, guys. I, got, I, I, have, to, uh, I have to focus. See, I was able to change out rigs really quick because I pre-tied a whole bunch of them. <clears throat> I'm telling you guys, get the kit. Comes with everything to tie the rigs. Pre-tie it brief before you come to the pier because you don't want, look at the action right now. Everyone is hooked up on the fish. You don't want to have to sit there and tie all your rigs when, when the action is hot. Get the kit, learn how to pier fish. The last shrimp. I hope I, I hope I can get it. See how fast that three, two dozen went? Or was it three? Three. We got three dozen. It went really quick. Oh, it's close to hitting me. Get the 
See, the action just got hot really quickly. And you really need to know what you're doing, or you're gonna tangle up with other people, get other people upset. That's why I think this guide will really help you when you're in the pier. If you read this, you'll have it in your mind. You'll be able to react quick. Just get it. Get it in. Crank it, babe. Huh? Get it in. Yeah, I am. Taking my time. Get my dad. I'm using a lure now and that is because all of a sudden everyone just started congregating in the corner that I was throwing lures and people are bringing up some jack just like this so it took some local advice switched it to something heavy something shiny just goes to show the importance of, of observing and listening to other people on the pier so my favorite part about this pier in specific is that there's such a wide variety of fish. Big, small, monstrous sized fish. Um, I really like the mystery of throwing my shrimp out there and not knowing what I'm gonna catch. I could catch the biggest fish of my entire life or I could catch the smallest fish of my entire life. It's a really big mystery and that's my favorite part about pier fishing in general. What's your favorite part about pier fishing? Comment below. You wanna try? Just stop. Real? You're on the boat! Yeah. Oh, oh, nice Aaron! Nice girl! Go girl! Bring it up! Control it over here, Aaron. Bring it this way. Okay. Are you trying your hardest? I feel like I am. This is why you gotta lift more, Aaron. Okay, I gotta lift. No, like like lift weights and stuff more. Oh. I feel like I really need to walk over here, Brendan. I feel like it's on the pylon. 
No, he's in. Talk, talk to me, talk to me. How does it feel? Calm down, calm Very down. It's not, strong. it's not coming off. It's not coming off. You're good. <laughs> Bring the tip up. Why is this tape so long? Because it's strong. Is it peeling you still? Yes. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's stuck. You tired? Yes. <laughs> they are very strong. They really do. Oh. Aaron, you just need to work out more. Shut up. It wasn't even that big. Here. Shut up. Come in and Everyone else just took me twice as long. All right, what'd you guys say about that? <laughs> you need to work out more. Just say it. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to lift a few more weights. Tell them about your push-ups you've been doing so far. <laughs> how, how have you been doing on your push-up progress? Can you do All one right. yet? Maybe. Who's this? Say hello. Hello. Yeah, that definitely was a workout. It was like the same size as everyone else's. It just took me twice as long. You need to eat more protein, Aaron. I guess so. Eat too many vegetables. <laughs> eat more, eat more, more steak. More steak in my yeah. diet. So long as you're polite to the people around you, so long as you're mindful of the people around you, pretty accepting. If you come in here tangling everyone's lineup, not apologizing, you know, there's, there's fishing etiquettes that you need to practice. You need, to, and you learn this by observing. You learn this by being here, putting time in here, not just by listening to someone talk on YouTube. So I want to encourage you to get out there, be here, experience it, learn, observe. Be a part of the experience. What are you doing, Aaron? I'm picking up trash. Say it again. Oh, I'm picking up trash. Is that even our trash? No, um, I've just been, I've literally been doing this for like hours while we've been here. Like, I've literally just been walking around and like whenever I see plastic, I just pick it up. If it's mine, just cut it up. Put it in a proper recycling bin or trash Why? can. Why? Yeah. Because this can get, in, like the ocean is right there. Like this could just easily blow into the ocean. What happens start, if that goes in the ocean? Well, it can start tangling up sea turtles, fish, start killing plants, you know. It's just not good for the environment. And plastic never um, decomposes, so it'll always stay there. So not only is it important to just clean up after yourself, right, but you want to leave an area cleaner when you leave it than when you get there. So, as you're walking along, look at this. Oh, nice Mitchell. Look at that Mitchell. I'm going to cut them up so that they later don't tangle anything up. And... So easy. Okay, this just that just happened. Suck. <laughs> That's a all that talk about water too. That was crazy. Its organs are still moving. <laughs> Okay. That was crazy. That was craziness. Like non-stop adrenaline for like 30, 40 minutes just. Like one second I'm just using shrimp, catching margates and 
other smaller little fish. Lighting. And then next second, there's a million people in my spot, all throwing lures. So I'm like, you know what? You can't beat them, join them. <laughs> so I put on, so I put on a two ounce piece of metal with a hook on it, cast it out there, let it sink, jig it up, let it sink, jig it up, let it sink. I, I really, we found them, they're deeper. So we saw a lot of people fishing, casting it, reeling it in, not letting it sink. Not a classic example. My dad is having a hard time adjusting to, to fishing with lures because he's more of a bait fisherman. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but you have to acknowledge that it, it takes practice to learn how to do these things. It took me a lot of times just being at the pier watching them catch fish while I couldn't catch anything. It didn't just come like that. It comes with watching, learning, and observing. So if you need help finding tackle, what kind of terminal gear you need, uh, we have custom picked all these special things in here uh, for you to tie your own rigs. Um, this is a laminated guide, so you can keep it in your backpack. It stays in great condition. But if you, kinda, if you just want to read this guide, we have it available for instant download in the link below. I really hope that this can help you. Uh, ever since we started this product, we've got a lot of reports that this is very helpful to them. And I hope that we can help you as well. Anyways, back to dinner fish. We're gonna take this black margate to a restaurant, cook it up, and uh, have us a nice dinner. Let's go. Well, the other one too small, we put the back. Yeah. No, then he got like three or four. Jacks are pretty darn strong too. Right, you know it. You know how, you know exactly what it's a jack and not a jack. You know exactly what's a jack and not a jack? Yeah, the jack is, you know, okay, the jack is trying to run this way and then come back that way, come back to you. Uh, ceramic. So we are at Jade Palace right now, and Jade Palace is the only place in the area that we can find uh, to cook our fish for us, our fresh catch. They're saying that the jack doesn't taste very good. <laughs> eat the pinfish and, and, and eat the black margate and they're making it in a way where it's sweet and sour and uh, crispy. Um, We're eating the jack? Jack soup salad. Okay, so never mind. We're eating the jack. We're gonna, we're gonna try the jack. Yay! Yeah, what's up? Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, you guys can get a picture. I'm also, guess what? Guess what? What? I'm also a YouTuber too. Oh, you are? Fishing YouTuber? No. What's your channel? Oh, yeah, I'll show you guys. What's it called? Hold up, first. Okay, what are your guys' names? Henry. Henry. Nice I'm Brendan. I'm Joe. Ken. Ken. Nice to I'm meet Joe. you. Nice to meet you, Joe. I'm nice Aaron. You too. <laughs> Joe Lee, 14 subscribers. What do you do? Joe Lee. I do what sometimes kind of reaction videos. Uh -huh. uh, try not to laugh. Oh, cool. Other ones. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I get a picture of that. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hey, you want Jack? Some? Come look at the Jack. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. <laughs> hey, you want some? You want no, some to your family? Good. No, no, we're good. Okay. Come bring a little bit to wow. your family, man. No, Go get good. me a plate. Seriously, I can't finish. <laughs> They're done. They're, they have so much food. They have a whole plate of crabs and everything. <laughs> good. Hey, Lord, the Lord, I don't want to eat. I'll eat it. No. You, you give me. All right, now we're serving the jack. Let's see how this tastes. People say that this is not good to eat, yeah. but we decided that even, we wanted to try it for ourselves and not let other people said it's tell not us. Good. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna see if it's good. I'm not sure. Look at the eyes, the maraschino cherry eyes. <laughs> okay, let's try it. So here is the black margate. Look at those teeth. Could chew an apple through a wire fence. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is like this is like, what is it, steamed, and then yeah. seared, and then soy sauce, oil, ginger, uh, spring onions. What's the sauce? 
sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. And then here's the jack. Truth be told, I've never had a fried fish that I didn't like. Mmm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right? It's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I don't understand when people say that this is a trash fish and not to eat it. Why, yeah. why do people say that? I mean, it tastes pretty good to me. If you look at the difference between this meat and the Margate, the Margate it definitely has a lot lighter meat. This mm -hmm. one is much darker, but it's still really good. Yeah. Just that people say about um, blue the bluefish. How I usually eat Chinese food, fish, Chinese fish, is I, I get a plate of rice. That'll be the carb. Kind of like the bread to a sandwich. And then I'll put some of the sauce on top of the rice. Oh, yes. All right, let's see what all this uh, fuss is about. Everyone says they don't like Jack. And they're crazy, of course, because they have not prepared it correctly. It's pretty good, a little bit fishy, but the meat is nice. I think the meat's great. What is that? Fish skin. Good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thick and chewy. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, Aaron, I think you should try this. I think you'll really like it since it's so sweet. Okay. So a lot of times, you shouldn't listen to people's opinions because just keep in mind their opinions. Their, their own opinions. And what you should really do is try it for yourself before you decide. I'd like to show you some excellent design. Are you ready for this? Yes. What is it? What the? For your pooping buddy. <laughs> <laughs>